Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 2P Press Start. I'm your host, Giant Killer, and today we're proud to present episode 26 of our top 5 Hearthstone plays of the week. Now let's get right into the action with number 5. Our number 5 play this week was a submission from Dan N, and it features Omnify on Priest up against an unknown rogue in some ranked action. And this play is all about giving rogues a taste of their own Jenkins-flavored medicine. As we join this game in action, we find Omnify behind on life and on the board, but luckily he's been stealing for a rainy day. Two thought steals from previous turns have given Omnify exactly what he needs to turn the tables on his rogue opponent. A Leroy Jenkins, a Cold Blood, and a Shadow Step. He starts by dropping Leroy, charges in for six, Shadow Steps Leroy back to his hand, drops him again, Cold Bloods him up, throws in a Holy Smite to add insult to irony, and charges in with the Cold Blooded Leroy for a very roguish kill. This week's number 4 play was a submission from Bernie S, and it features Tia on Priest up against Hypin on Warlock in some ranked gameplay. And we join this play on Hypin's turn for the start of some sheer RNG ridiculousness. Despite a board of 5 minions, the Knife Juggler's throw, triggered by Tia's damaged Golem, goes straight for Hypin's face, bringing him down to 7 life. Then on Tia's turn, he drops an injured Blade Master to trigger the Juggler again, and again the knife goes straight for the face. He drops another Injured Blade Master, and this little knife juggler goes for the face a third time, finishing off the hat trick and allowing Tia to finish High Pin off with a Mind Blast for the very unlikely win. Our number three clip this week was a submission from Marty M, and it features Max Abdullah on Warrior up against Fireben on Priest in some gameplay from the Hearthstone EU servers. In this play, Max is way behind on life and on board, with only a Murloc Raider in play, but he's about to take a page out of the Murky playbook and cast March of the Murlocs. He starts out with a Warsong Commander to give all of his minions charge, then starts throwing down a small army of angry fishmen things. Max starts by playing a Murloc Tidecaller, which will gain one attack whenever a Murloc is summoned, followed by a Murloc Tide Hunter, who brings along a friend, followed by a Murloc War Leader to give all of the Murlocs plus two plus one, and finally a Grimscale Oracle to give all of these charging Murlocs plus one attack before marching in for 25 points of lethal Murloc mob justice. This week's number two clip was a submission from Christos, and it features Supersonic on Heladin up against Savas XXX on OTK Mage. And as we join the play in action, Savas is clearly saving up cards for a big OTK finish, so Supersonic knows he's gotta win fast. The problem is, he also knows his opponent is probably packing an ice block. So Supersonic starts out by whittling his opponent down to one life before triggering the ice block. Then he drops a Wild Pyromancer, and triggers the Pyromancer twice, first with a Holy Light, and then an Equality, forcing his opponent to draw the last two cards in his deck, thanks to the Acolyte of Pain. After passing the turn, Savas's mandatory card draw deals him one point of fatigue damage, giving Supersonic the win. And our number one clip this week was a submission from Abaddon and others, and it features Noxious on Warlock up against Solomonarius on Druid. And in this play, Solomonarius is feeling pretty confident with Noxious well behind on life. But, the yoke's on Solomonarius because Noxious has brought along Leroy Jenkins, and Leroy Jenkins brought chicken. Noxious starts out by marinating his angry chicken in some power overwhelming, then kills off Solomonarius' taunting loot hoarder with Leroy Jenkins, clearing the path for his chicken's run. He then fries up the bird to an enraged 10-2 with a hellfire, swings in with the giant, and just like Charlie Sheen in Hot Shots Part 2, Noxious finishes off his opponent with a chicken arrow bullseye for the win. And for our bonus clip this week, we bring you Indestructible, the story of how one man did void terrible things to a poor, defenseless innkeeper. This play was a submission from Marcus A, and it features Zoidberg on Warlock up against the AI innkeeper. Zoidberg starts things out by dropping two free Molten Giants, then buffing each of them up to 12-12 with a power overwhelming. He follows that up by cloning his opponent's Warsong Commander using a Faceless Manipulator, which will give any of his creatures with power 3 or less charge. He then drops a 3-3 Void Terror, which gets charged from the Warsong Commander, then eats both Molten Giants, becoming a 27-27 Charger. A swing from Zoidberg's board, plus a Soulfire in hand, gives Zoidberg more than enough to finish off the Innkeeper, who with his last breath, curses Zoidberg. And that's it for episode 26. Thanks so much for watching and supporting our Top 5 Plays show. Of course, we're always looking for more great Hearthstone plays to showcase on the series, so if you're interested in submitting a play, please stop by 2ppressstart.com and hit the Submit a Play link for instructions on how to submit a play into the running for next week's episode. And finally, if you enjoy our shows and want to help 2P Press Start grow, please click on that subscribe button to join the always growing and always awesome 2P Press Start family. And we'll keep bringing you more great Hearthstone content right here on 2P Press Start.